probably say that's absolutely certain. <laughs> uh, Royal historian Kate Williams uh, joins us now. Good to see you, Kate. Thanks very much for coming in. Uh, there are some wonderful pictures released this yeah, morning, aren't there? Let's yes. face it. No matter what your view of the royal family, these are heartwarming pictures. Really lovely pictures. These are pictures that are taken at the Natural History Museum, a display of butterflies. And they went there a little bit early, and so there were loads of these really cute little pictures of Prince George reaching out for a butterfly. And, and, it, and it's really so engaging, so really appealing pictures of a little boy who's going to be one day our king. Do you know what? At the age of one, I don't think he's ever shown any bad behaviour. I know that um, Louisa was mentioning the time when he threw away the toy, <laughs> but I mean, he never seems to grizzle. Or the, um, have they been really careful about sort of access to him and and releasing, you know, lovely yes. pictures? Yes. Or is he just perfect baby? Because you're right, Susanna. I mean, many babies <laughs> wouldn't really respond to a photo no. shoot and just go, I'm just going to cry for like, the whole time. <laughs> I think he's got a really cheerful personality. I think he's got a really sanguine personality, which is great because he already has an awful lot of cameras in his face and as he grows older he's only going to have more so well that's one relaxed. of the problems isn't it it's it's try for them to try and get the balance between everybody wanting to see him and you know for instance everybody would want to see this party yes but limiting that and keeping their privacy yes that's the big problem I think when Prince George is old he's only little now he doesn't know what the cameras are as he gets older he's really the first royal child we've had born into the age of the camera phone of the 24-hour mm. media and the 24-hour internet so Diana used to cut deals with the press. She used to say, OK, we're going to have our holiday, take a few photos of us and then leave us alone. Mm. And that's exactly what the press did. Mm. But you can't do that anymore, because even if the mainstream press says yes, there's still people with camera phones and iPads. So how Prince George keeps his privacy as he grows up through his childhood and his teenage years, that's the big challenge mm. for the Cambridges. Partially secluded or not, he is a great asset for the royal family, isn't he? He is certainly the royal family's secret weapon, and certainly when he went over to Australia and New Zealand, I've got a lot of friends there who are Republican, and they were saying to me, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're going to get this Australian head of state and New Zealand head of state, and I've spoken to them since, and they're just saying, you know, our, our quest is pointless at the moment because Prince George has won over Australia and New Zealand, and he really, I think once upon a time there was ideas we shouldn't take royal babies on tours, they should stay at home, certainly Prince Charles stayed at home, there was a lot of debate about whether or not Prince William should go, now, royal babies, that's what everyone's out there to see. Yeah. So it's quite a, quite, a, quite a big, big ask of the baby to keep smiling all the time. I know, but Done. he seems to be doing it so, so far. Well, so far, <laughs> absolutely. I think we'll talk to you Thank a little bit you, later Kate. on as well. Thank Thanks you. very much indeed. Uh,